Hi, I'm Osiri Wisdom, the lead pastor of the Wisdom Place Church. Welcome again to 100 Days of Wisdom. The theme for this year is the Father and Son Adventure. And I am the conveyor of the Mountain Summit and the Father and Son Adventures. And I'm focusing on 100 leadership wisdom. Every father needs to teach the son. Leadership insights, leadership wisdom, leadership values. Every father needs to teach the son. Today, is the 65 and I'm talking about leadership <laughs> remember that the whole the whole core of this series is to say that the relationship between a father and the son is the most leadership intensive strategic relationship that exists that it means that's where you are raising another leader and so you can not do that you know without paying attention you can not do that without giving your best to it you can not do that without intentionally raising that son to become someone better and i want you to know this leadership is core so what is leadership leadership some people say is a capacity to obtain followers leadership is influence like john maxwell but i say leadership is being able to understand the role of influence that influence is gained by service so you want to be a better leader it means you should serve people leadership is not rulership leadership is not intimidation leadership is not dictatorship leadership is being able to add value to people leadership is actually a way you use the resources at your disposal to meet the needs of people this is my personal definition of leadership it is the capacity to feel the need F double -E L the needs of people and feel F I double L the needs of people with the resources at your disposal. Remember, you say that again. Capacity to feel the needs of people and to feel those needs with the resources at your disposal. Watch everyone you consider today as a global leader. That's what they did. Martha Gandhi, uh, Nelson Mandela, uh, Osiri Wisdom, and many other people all over the world. They feel the needs of people and they f they find a way to feel that need with what whatever they had sometimes it's just knowledge they have sometimes it's the courage they have whatever it is that is leadership so teach your son leadership teaching the power of leading by example he cannot be you know leadership is achieved by pulling not by pushing pulling means you are in front doing it and asking other people to follow you pushing means you are somewhere relaxing taking smoothie and taking ice cream and asking other people to do it it's like a pastor asks people to come and do fasting and prayer and then he's eating it's like a prayer person i will have vigil tonight and he's not coming he's sleeping on his bed and he say hi people prayed pray well yeah and he sleeps that is not leadership <laughs> that is you are just deceiving yourself you know how they say if you think you are leading and nobody's following you <laughs> you're just taking a walk so you don't want your son to think that he's leading and nobody is following him he has to understand the power of decision making taking initiative or uh, you know embracing challenges providing solution uh, you know how to build a team and how to work with other team members you know that is all the things he requires to collaborate with other people you know set a vision put values that guide them and then make sure that he's courageous to take risk and then remain a servant leader remain a transformational servant leader that will literally change the whole of his life if your son becomes a leader oh dear you have achieved something powerful please follow me on all my social media handles especially my youtube to see the wisdom as we continue this series 100 days of wisdom teaching your teaching you to teach your son 100 leadership insight and values that can help him become the best leader and the best version of better version of you i cherish you and i value you your son will make you proud